Hello guys, this is the Logic Tutor. We are here to discuss briefly about the 2024 chemistry practical titration. Uh, no one is given the uh, question for the exam and no one knows what the examination body will set. But we are just here to help ourselves at least to have an idea of what we are going to meet during the examination and how to go about it by creating, this is a self-creating question probably from the previous past question that we linked together so that we can achieve one or two things. So if you are yet uh, for the first time, just click on the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell to notify you when we drop our videos and do well to come for more wonderful videos as we also teach uh, lecture or uh, advanced courses which are science and engineering related with this channel. So let's look at the question. We have H hey, is a solution of potassium Okay, maybe uh, if you can see that very well. A is a solution of potassium, which has a manganate, 7. Then uh, B is a solution of iron 2 sulfate containing 2.75 grams in 500 centimeter cubes. So, which means that 2.75 grams was dissolved in 500 centimeter cubes. So, we're going to put A in the red and titrate against 20 or 25 centimeter cube of B uh, into a good, uh, I mean, yes, in a 20 class. Then we have to repeat the titration for about uh, three times so that we can get the ordered title value. I mean, the, the values that are closer to each other to give us an assurance that that is the exact or the specific volume that will be required to titrate the given volume of B used. Uh, so, this is the balance equation of the reaction. So, after we have made uh, done the experiment, we we'll have to use. Uh, the information and our result from the experiment to do some calculation just like uh, concentration of B, we need to calculate that. Concentration of A in more part here, we are told to also find the number of moles of Fe in the what? In the volume of pipettes. That's B, uh, the volume of B that was pipette. So let's look at the table and we are going to run the experiment then fill up the table and do the calculation. So so this is our solution A is purple in color and that is KMNO4 and we have our solution B which is FeSO4 is having a kind of blue green color so very light blue green color so that is what it has hope you can see that very well so we want to titrate the two and get our results uh -huh. so I filled my Solution A into the red. I have to use my funnel to fill it completely. So I have to fill for that. Let me bring it down so you can see. So after filling up to the required volume. Then I have to adjust the volume and go ahead to titrate. So adjusting the volume, I'm using the ball bearing here. So uh, the ball bearing is kind of easier than the pin. So, so I've set that to zero. Then I have to use my pipette. To draw a volume of 25 centimeter cube into this. Yeah, so that's it. Then I introduce it here. So don't blow the uh, pipette, it has discharged the volume it could discharge. So this is a redox titration. So we are titrating the oxidizing agent against the reducing agent. So no indicator is needed for that reaction. So we are just going to titrate now and ensure that we get an accurate result. Once the color of this mixture changes to pink or red, then we have the end point. So let's move on. Okay, it doesn't change yet, so let's move on. 
there. Okay, this is pink color now. So we can conclude that the experiment has taken place. So the value of the reading falls around um, that is 19.8. So we have 19.8 as the false value. So we can go ahead to titrate the second time because we can still see more of 19.8 out of 50. Yeah, 19.8. So we go again. The reason why indicator is not needed is because the solution used out their uh, respective color and it used to change once the reaction occurred. So um, the next we move on. So we go again. Okay, still going. Okay, good. So it has changed again. So the next value is 39.60. 39.60. So for the third equation, I have to refill the red back to zero. For convenience, so I have to refill back to zero. So then I get my value again. Okay. Alright, let's move again. Uh, let me dispose this. Alright, so don't forget all the procedures that you are meant to go with. Rinse the conical flask with the solution with water. Rinse the pipette with the solution is meant to be uh, contained. Rinse the burette with the solution is meant to contain. Remove the funnel immediately after you fill the burette. And for KMN4, you don't read the lower menus course, you use the upper menus course uh, because it is a colored solution. It is not colorless like that of water. And so the second uh, titration and the first has given me range of value, so I should be expecting that when it gets closer to that, I will stop washing the, the top of the thread. So it keeps going, then I think the color has changed now to pink, though this value is not exactly, uh, or it's closer. So we have the value to be uh, 19 points. Okay, this is 20. There's yes, exactly 20. 20 centimeter cube. So that is it. Let's go for the calculation aspects. Uh, the value I got for the title value is 19.87. That is after I have made my table, the fourth, the second, and the third. So this is how to record it. To make sure the volume of pipette cubes is recorded on top of your table. So then these are the readings. So I calculate my uh, title value. So the next for us to do here now is to go for the question. And if you look at the question very well, we're told from the results we should calculate the concentration of B. But don't forget to calculate the concentration of B. So let me take note of VD, which is what? Okay, I don't actually need this table anymore. I can get rid of it. 
So getting rid of the table my VA is what? 19.87 cm per cube. Okay, so then the next for me to do is to find the concentration of B in mole per DM cube. Don't forget B uh, as uh, it has been given in the question that B 2.75 is the solving 500. So for B, that's for question I. So B has a mass concentration, that's mass concentration of B. Are you getting that now? Will be what? 2.75 gram times 2. That will be the mass in what? In 1000. And that will give us 5.5 gram per dm cube. So what we are calculating is in mole per dm cube. So which is molarity? Is equal to mass concentration over molar mass. And don't forget, B is FeSO4. So the molar mass of FeSO4 is given to be 152. So we have 5.5 gram over 152. So I think that will give us a value like 0 0.036 mole per dm cube. Now the next is for us to calculate uh, the concentration of A in mole per dm cube, and that we call for the formula CABA over CBVB equals NA over NB. So this is what we are using. Our CA is the concentration of A times VA, which is the title value, then that's 13.87 over CB, which we just calculated now 0. 0.6 times V which is 25 all equals if you check the equation you see there are number of moles there so this one has one and Fe has five so by the time I multiply this I'll be having um, this times one so I'll be having five C A times 19.87 that is five times 19.87 equals uh, 0 0.036 times 25. So, um, for this, I'm having 99.35, 99.35 CA, all equals to when we multiply this, we should be having uh, 0 0.9. So, dividing both sides by 99.35, 99.35. So I'll be having uh, these globules. So my concentration of A, that's my CA. So let me just take it down here. My CA should give me um, 0 0.009. 0 0.009. So which is sometimes you write as 0 0.01. But this is 0 0.09 mole per dm cube. So the next they ask us to do is to calculate the number of moles of Fe in the volume of B used. So in order to do that, all I just need to do is uh, uh, just for the number three. All I just need to do is to use number of mole equals concentration times volume. Don't forget that will be B, VB. So which means concentration of B times volume of B. Now we're told that uh, the number of moles of Fe, the concentration of Fe is uh, CB, that's 0 0.036 times volume of VB is 25, and we have to divide it by 1000 to convert to DMQ. So after doing that, I think. We are going to be having this over 1000 and 0 0.036 times um, that will give us 0 0.025. Yeah, so if you have to multiply these two together, what will you have? The number of moles will be this one. So we have uh, 0 0.0009. Of Fe2 plus. 
So this is the little we're able to give to you as far as the exam is concerned. So wish you success and come back for more practical videos. We still have physics, biology and the qualitative analysis for chemistry will also be explained. So stay tuned, subscribe and share to those who need it. Thank you.